let's talk about toilets. When you flush after you're done, it seems like the poop just disappears. It's gone from your bathroom, and it's not your problem anymore. A toilet is a poop removal abstraction. But of course, it's not a perfect abstraction. All that poop has to go somewhere. When it disappears from your bathroom, it travels through an entire system of plumbing and sewers and treatment plants. Someone had to design all of this waste treatment infrastructure and build it, and someone has to maintain it. You don't see it most of the time, that doesn't mean it isn't happening. And every so often, toilets turn into leaky abstractions. When there's a clog in the drain, they can back up. When there's heavy rainfall in a low-lying neighborhood, everyone's toilet backs up. The details of how the sewer system is implemented become visible to everyone, and differences between different implementations matter a lot. All smart contracts are ambiguous is about another set of abstractions that are built on foundations it's good to be aware of. It's apparent enough how contracts depend on the legal system. If someone agrees to buy a shipment of 50,000 pounds of frozen chicken from you and then never pays, you'll need to sue them to get your money. That means dealing with lawyers and judges and county sheriffs and all of the complexity of the legal system. When you get into actual people interpreting things that other people wrote, there's room for ambiguity to creep in. Maybe they thought chicken means stewing chickens, and you thought it meant higher quality frying chickens. A judge will have to decide, and they might get it wrong. Or maybe the defendant will skip town with a truckload of chickens. The legal system is a leaky abstraction built on social foundations. It might seem like computers and blockchains and smart contracts are different, but I'm here to tell you that they're not. They're also leaky abstractions, and they're also built on social foundations. If you put your agreement into a smart contract and record it on a blockchain, you might think, well, that's settled and nothing can possibly go wrong. If some government or some uh, legal entity says, no, uh, stop that, please don't, don't send money to that address, the contract doesn't listen. It's, execute, it's going to execute and no one can stop it. But many things can go wrong and do. Maybe there's a bug in the contract or in everyone else's blockchain software. Or maybe the community of people using the blockchain decide they urgently need to upgrade its software in a way that breaks your contract. Maybe it forks into two incompatible versions. Or even people decide they don't want to use it at all anymore. A lot of things can happen. There was this understanding of immutability as a feature of a blockchain. But really, immutability is not a feature of a blockchain. Immutability is something that's enforced by culture. My point is that these are social foundations, too. They're the infrastructure on which smart contracts are built. When things work well, software behaves predictably, as everyone expects. And when toilets work well, the poop goes away and never comes back. But blockchains, just like sewer systems, can break or do things people don't expect. They need design and maintenance and upgrades. The water company might tell you not to flush your toilets for eight hours while they replace a broken main. The blockchain could change underneath you. Like it, it, it does sort of interfere with the uh, execution of the code exactly, exactly as written. Software can be a great foundation for all kinds of useful applications. But forgetting about the foundations it's built on is a recipe for disaster. Because you need to be prepared not just for when it works as you expect, but also for when it doesn't.